hello and welcome back to the new video of the java tutorial series so today uh, we have completed the oops concepts and now it's time for the exercise uh, so exercise on oops concepts uh, head over to this link uh, just type this link in your browser and you will be redirected to this page which is hacker rank page and here you can see uh, some basic challenges on the oops concepts in a java inheritance 1 java inheritance 2 abstract class interfaces method overriding method of adding two instance of keyword so you can try solve this uh, questions on your own but i will be uh, taking for the first five questions of this uh, challenges and you, you can try all these challenges by you can also try easy medium and hard you can set a difficulty level as whatever you want uh, I'll be solving easy ones and so in this video we will be talking Java Inheritance 1 and Java Inheritance 2 solution to these problems okay so the problem statement is using inheritance one class can acquire the properties of others consider the following animal class so they have given us an animal class which has one method void walk and which is printing I'm walking and this class has only one method walk and next time we want to create a bird class that also has a uh, fly method we do this using extend keywords okay so they have created one one more class a bird which extend, extends the animal and which has its own method fly and i'm flying is the print statement which is written inside this fly method and finally we create the bird object uh, that can both fly and walk okay so they have one class solution inside which they have written main method and inside main method they have created the object of the bird class and using that object uh, they have called walk and fly method and obviously this way two methods will print i am walking and i am flying this means that a bird object has all the properties that animal object has as well as some additional unique properties okay the the code above is provided for the for you in the editor you must add a sing method to the bird class then modify this main method accordingly so that the code prints <coughs> the following line okay so the expected output should be i am walking i am flying and i am singing okay so they have provided us this code editor okay and we are expected to write one more method for the bird class which is sing method as you can see over here okay so we will write something void sing and inside this method we will simply write system dot out dot print ln and inside this method i will write uh, what we have to write i am singing i will copy this string and paste it over here okay, okay this is the method that they has to write okay and okay and then modify the main method accordingly so that the code prints the following lines okay so we have to modify the solution class also and here bird dot sing is there okay now i guess it should print and singing i'm submitting the code before that i will run the code okay let me just logging through my google account now it's okay and now i will run the code okay sample test case 0 is passed i'm working i'm flying i'm singing and the expected output should was also the same now i will submit the code yes compiler message success now we uh, congratulations so you have solved this challenge okay so this is about the java inheritance one problem we will look into the java inheritance second problem also wait let me open this in new tab okay okay for the java inheritance second problem uh, the problem statement is write, a, write the following code in your code editor below a class name arithmetic with the method name 
add the text to integer as a parameter and returns the integer denoting their sum okay so let me write it down here comment what we have to do okay we have to write one class name arithmetic okay class arithmetic and inside that class uh, we have to write one method name as add one method should be there method add which accepts two parameters int comma int two integer parameters and then it returns the sum and it was returning the sum of the two numbers okay and a class name adder that inherits from a super class name arithmetic okay a class name adder one adder class should be there one adder class adder class which inherits the properties of the arithmetic class okay so we have inherits inherits the arithmetic class okay and your classes should not be public okay so we don't have to write a class as a public because one class is already declared as a public switch is solution okay the improve input format is you are not responsible for reading any input from this stdin a lock code stub will be test your submission by calling the add method okay this is the normal and output format should be you are not responsible for printing any anything to std out your your add method must return the sum of its parameter okay the sample out sample output they have given as my super class is arithmetic and 42 13 is 20 okay okay so write your code here okay so first of all let me create one arithmetic class okay abstract arithmetic abstract CLASS class arithmetic and inside this class I will write public abstract int add and this is going to accept two parameters final int a and final int b okay so this is the abstract method so i don't need to write the body of this method that's so okay and now uh, i have to declare one another method or class okay inside this solution class i will just so wait i can't edit inside this solution class okay let me create my own class in IntelliJ idea i will name it as in inheritance 2 i will get my main method and i will simply copy my arithmetic class that i have written over here copy paste okay uh, now we have implemented the arithmetic man and we have also implemented the add method which returns the sum and now we have to override this method inside our main method met public method that is public class sorry inheritance 2 so we'll write public int add and which accepts two parameter final int a comma final int b and it performs simply the addition of the two numbers it will return a plus b okay and one more thing uh, it it is extends this arithmetic class okay 
now it's okay <coughs> now inside our main method we will simply create the object of this add, uh, inheritance class inheritance to obj1 is equals to new inheritance and using this object we will call this add method uh, uh, to call this method we will simply write obj1 dot add and we will pass two numbers mm, let's suppose uh, two numbers can be anything uh, 10 comma 20 okay so now I guess that is the work that we have to do inside this problem statement we have to just uh, pa create one abstract class arithmetic uh, and one abstract method which will simply perform addition of the two numbers and that we have done over here and we will create one object of that class and we will call it and pass the parameters okay now I will run this method uh, run this class sorry not method and okay 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 wait 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 I have to okay I have to write this entire code inside one print statement because the method doesn't printing anything okay and I will simply copy this and paste inside a print statement and now if I run this question class Java class 30 is getting printed on the console yes because the addition of the 20 and 10 is 30 so this is pretty much about this problem statement java inheritance 2 okay so we'll discuss uh, other problems also uh, java abstract java interface java method overriding method overriding 2 uh, in our upcoming video so thank you for watching this video